This video is designed to instruct you how to use the StatCrunch for your project. This is the screen that you may see when you open up your MyStat Lab. You click on StatCrunch, that's the first step, and then you go to visit the StatCrunch website, and then we go to this third op fourth option, which is type or paste data from a blank data table. So here we go, and we get this screen. Now suppose I wanted to get the number of hours of TV watched per day by students at St. John's. So I collect my data. I'm going to just go into this variable, backspace, and write down H-O-U-R-S TV. And then I'm going to enter my data. So I have one person watches six hours, or two hours, or three hours, or four hours, or nine hours, uh, four hours, another one, another five hours, or seven hours, and uh, eight hours. Okay, so these are the sample. You have 30 people in your sample. I have only nine people in this particular sample. Now I'd like to get a 95% confidence interval about the mean number of hours of TV watched by all students at St. John's. So to do that, I go to stat, I go to T stats, I go to one sample, and I go to with data. And I get this screen, one sample T. I click on hours of TV, that's the column that I'm interested in, and I want a 95% confidence interval, so I click this box, and then I click on compute. And we move that over uh, so we can all see it in the screen. And here I get all the information. This is my variable, hours of TV. This is the sample mean. So 5.33 hours is the average of these nine numbers. The standard error, which is the standard deviation over the square root of n, that number is calculated for you. The degrees of freedom is 8, or 9 minus 1. The lower limit is 3 hours, and the upper limit is 7.13 hours. This is my 95% confidence interval. This means that I'm 95% certain that the mean number of hours watched per day of all, at all, by all students at St. John's is gonna be between this number and this number. That's what the 95% confidence interval means. We only looked at a sample of nine, but we got, we can make this 95% calculation about this. Now suppose my guess was three hours. Suppose I guessed three hours of hours of TV. That was my guess of the mean. So I go to stat. Only this time I can do stat one sample with data. I click on hours of TV and now I do perform hypothesis testing and this is going to be three. So my guess was three. So my null hypothesis mu equal to three. My alternate hypothesis mu not equal to three. Okay? And then I compute. And let me move this over so you can see it. And here we got the same, very similar information. The sample mean is the same, the standard error is the same, the degrees of freedom is the same. My T stat is 2.98. You would have to compare this number with some number in the T table. The P value is 0 0.0175. That means we're going to reject the null hypothesis because 0 0.05 is larger than that number. And we knew that we were going to reject the null hypothesis because. 3 is not contained in this interval. 3 is not contained in that interval, so we know for sure we're going to reject the null hypothesis. Let's suppose my guess was 4. Well, you only do one of these. You don't do both of them. I'm going to do a t-stat here again. I'm going to do again t-stats. I'm going to again do one sample. I'm going to again do with data. And now I'm going to put over here a 4. Is the mean equal to 4 or not? Well, you know right away we're going to accept the null hypothesis. Oh, I forgot to click this. There we go. Click for compute. And here we have my uh, confidence interval for uh, 4. And you'll notice information is very similar. Tempo mean, the standard deviation, this one here. My t-stat is 1.7. My p-value was 0.12, which means we're certainly going to accept the null hypothesis because 0.05 is less than point, the p-value of 0.12. And we knew that 4 is in this interval, so we definitely would accept the null hypothesis. Another thing that you have to do is you have to print this into your Word document. 
So let me show you how to do that. Let's suppose uh, we want to do this one, the confidence interval. We type control A uh, to select everything. We type control V, which is going to uh, control C, which is going to copy it. And then I open up a Word document. And then I type control V, which is going to give me this. Now you put this in the middle of your a project because you're gonna have words before you're gonna have words after you can you're gonna tell me what your mean is guess and so on and so forth and here we have uh, your uh, this one let me show you how to print the other one we go back to here um, you want to get the confidence interval you click in that box control a selects the whole box control C is copying it control V is going to uh, paste it we just go to the Word document, and let me skip a line, Control uh, V is going to paste it. So this is the test, U equal to 3 against me or not. You're going to have words before it and after it and so on. I would also like you to put in the data, and to put in the data, you go back to the original with stack crunch, then you, you select this, then you click Control C for copy, and then you go to your Word document and control V to paste it. And there we have all the hours. Now you would, I would like you to put down the names of the people who you sur who you surveyed. And uh, I would like you to put down the um, initials if they're a little fussy. But this is going to be the project, the stack crunch portion of the project. And you should have no problem uh, doing the stack crunch portion. And if you have any questions, please see me uh, or email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, enjoy the project. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.